For years, we have believed our brains outperform even the most powerful computers, a belief that fueled our pride to the peak. However, recent research reveals something shocking. Our brains process data at only 10 bits per second. Yes, you heard it right, just 10 bits per second. To put this into perspective, consider the Zeus Z3, the world's first programmable computer developed in 1941. It also processed around 10 bits per second. Fast forward to today, and an M2 MacBook Air processes an astounding 1.7 trillion bits per second. And that's not even counting supercomputers or quantum computers. Faced with this comparison, one might wonder, is this measurement flawed or are we overlooking something crucial? Data processing in the brain is unlike computers. While computers need at least 8 bits just to process the letter A on your screen, the human brain somehow manages to filter through the trillions of bits from the environment and work with just 10 bits per second. How does it achieve this miraculous efficiency? Published in a peer-reviewed journal on November 15, 2024, this study sheds light on how researchers arrived at this 10-bit figure. They analyzed measurable tasks, including typing speed test participants were asked to type words they heard using a typewriter. On average, they manage 120 words per minute, corresponding to approximately 10 bits per second. Speaking speed test the rate of information transfer during speech was measured. For English speakers, it averaged around 13 bits per second, considering both male and female participants. Rubik's Cube Solving When analyzing how a participant processes information while solving a Rubik's Cube, the rate was approximately 11.8 bits per second. These results were derived using Shannon Entropy, a mathematical theory that measures uncertainty reduction. For example, a typist's ability to predict the next letter they'll type informs the calculation of their information processing speed. Although our brains receive around 10 bits per second from the environment, they filter this deluge down to just 10 bits per second for decision making. Here's how. Attention and prioritization, the brain selects only the most relevant information ignoring the rest. For example, in a noisy room, it can focus solely on one person's voice. Sensory adaptation repetitive stimuli, such as a hum of a fan, fade into the background over time, conserving mental resources. Data compression, the brain summarizes incoming data, processing only the critical aspects. It focuses on meanings, not unnecessary details. Parallel processing information is simultaneously processed in different brain regions. The outer brain handles detailed analysis, while the inner brain focuses only on essential information required for behavior. The study distinguishes between two modes of operation. Outer brain processes large sensory and motor signals, extracting detailed information from the environment. Inner brain processes simplified information to guide behavior, functioning at around 10 bits per second. This dual process system resembles how a computer's RAM and CPU operate. However, unlike CPUs, the brain's inner workings incorporate dynamic prioritization and meaning making, vastly enhancing efficiency. With around 86 billion neurons, the brain's capabilities remain unmatched in efficiency. Some scientists propose that quantum properties, such as superposition and quantum tunneling, may explain this phenomenon. Without these quantum effects, it's hard to fathom how the brain processes such immense data volumes at such low speeds. The brain's miraculous ability to filter, predict, and process data makes it incredibly efficient. For instance, a human brain consumes only 20 watts of energy per day, whereas the Fagaka supercomputer consumes 30,000 watts at full capacity. This stark contrast highlights the potential for revolutionary advancements in computing efficiency. Thank you for joining us on this fascinating journey into the marvels of the human brain. We'll explore more exciting topics in our next video. Stay curious and see you soon.